is that trained or stimulated neurons developed 25% more branches. And so when these branches happen, you know, there's more of them shooting off from the nerves or the neurons, this actually increased their size. And it meant that there was a, an increased number of connections per neuron and also an increased blood supply. Hello and welcome back. Now, just before we get started, thank you so much if you've subscribed to the YouTube channel. However, I noticed there are a lot more people watching the Total Somatics YouTube channel than are actually subscribed. So it would be wonderful if you could like, share, subscribe, and then press the notification bell, because the way that YouTube works within the Total Somatics YouTube channel is that it allows more people to hear these this information. And it's really more like a community effort if we're all doing our bit to share this work for other people to learn too. So thank you so much for taking that time to do that. Now, I'd like to develop on a little bit more from the previous episode where we talked about competitive plasticity, because it's such a fascinating area. And I think when we learn more about what's actually going on in our incredible brain, it gives us more of a motivation or a drive to follow through with actions. And I've shared with you many times before that years ago when I qualified in teacher training for adult education, the biggest thing that we were always encouraged to do was to explain to adults the why behind why they do something, because it's very different to teaching children where you would just instruct them to do something. But in order to get a person to be driven or committed or move forward with whatever that thing that you want to teach them, they need to understand the why. And so I think it's really important to spend a couple of episodes like this just discussing what is actually going on in your brain and why when you're doing clinical somatic movement and specifically the three pillars of total somatic education, which is clinical somatic movement, mindset and mindfulness. When we put in all of those together, we are actually changing the synapses in our brain. We're changing the way we perceive and we treat each day because of all the resources and the, the advice that I give within the total somatics membership. So let us get started with today so you can understand that bit more about why it's so important to allow our brain to stay fresh with all these new neural connections and brain cells as well. So within the Total Somatics membership, you will know if you're in the membership, as I've mentioned before, there's a vast array of resources, different resources to allow you to kind of step out of your comfort zone and try different things. Because I often use this expression that we don't know what we don't know. So we may have been doing a bit of somatic movement for some time, but we just do the same movements or we like certain movements. However, when you're in the total somatics membership, there are so many classes that you can choose from. And that really is to allow you to explore other areas to release and increase with mobilization through your body. But with my cues, it's allowing your brain to become aware of different parts of your body that allows new neural connections to happen or new synapses to develop in your brain. And sometimes you might be just wanting to work on a few specific classes that I've created, but that's why I'm always encouraging you to look and explore other ones because I'll often teach movement classes and it might be working another part of the body, but it's still addressing areas where you get your discomfort. So again, this is allowing your brain to become more curious and aware and uh, allowing us to fully focus our attention on different areas that we may not have done on a day-to-day -day basis. So let me share with you um, some fascinating insight and some study to show how we can allow our brain to truly flourish. And obviously, if you're in the somatic, Total Somatics membership, you have a great opportunity there. But I just want to share this neuroscientist. He researched um, and studied rats. And so again, these poor rats, um, they, they're being um, used for study, but we learn so much about them. And so what they decided to do was put rats in a stimulating and a non-stimulating environment. And what happened is, is when they did a post-mortem on the rats, they actually found some fascinating results. They found that the brains of the stimulated rats had more neurotransmitters they were actually heavier, the brains were heavier, they had a better blood supply. And that is the, comparing to the ones that were in the less stimulated environment. So you could see that there's a huge shift compared to the two groups. And it was from these results that lots more research started to develop within the field of neuroplasticity. 
So researchers went on to discover with further exploration that acetylcholine, which is the brain chemical essential for learning, was much higher in rats that were trained in difficult spatial problems compared to rats that were trained in simple problems. And then what they also noticed is with mental training or life that had very enriched stimulating environments, their brain weight actually increased by 5%. And they also noticed that in certain areas that were related to training, so directly correlated to training, that had actually increased by 9%. 9%, it's amazing. They also looked and noticed that trained or stimulated neurons developed 25% more branches. And so when these branches happen, you know, there's more of them shooting off from the nerves or the neurons, this actually increased their size. And it meant that there was a, an increased number of connections per neuron and also an increased blood supply. And these, these demonstrated that they can occur in later life. So it's not just when we're younger. However, I would just preface and say that as we get older, your brain is still changing. It is still very plastic, but it's not as rapid as it was when we were younger. But it is still changing every single day. And so to date, to now, the researchers have looked at all different types of animals and they've noticed this same um, results has happened in different animals with their brains. So comparing with stimulated and non-stimulated environments. But then let's move forward and consider that when they then started looking at the post-mortem examinations that were conducted in people, it actually demonstrated that education increased the number of branches among their neurons. So again, just like we saw with the other animals, there were greater sort of capacity and growth within their brain. And so an increased number of branches drives neurons further apart. And if they're further apart, this allows for an increased volume and thickness to occur within the brain. So it really is demonstrating how we saw at the start their findings that the brain got heavier, got thicker, more blood supply because we're stimulating these areas all of the time. And so, you know, there's that expression, there's a metaphor that's used, isn't it? That our brain is like a muscle. The more we use it, it gets bigger and it gets juicier. Well, really, it's not just a metaphor, metaphor. it's actually true. Because if we keep stimulating our brain, if we keep exciting different regions, it will help us. And I always say to people, when we take good care of our health, it serves like an insurance policy. Because if we've put the effort in over the years, and even it doesn't matter, even if we're coming into doing clinical somatic movement in our later years, it doesn't matter. It's like an insurance policy. We're still putting the effort in now and it reaps its rewards and benefits in the future because we notice that we're allowing our brain to stay very stimulated, very active, increasing the blood supply, the neural connections when we keep focusing on our brain health here. So again, I'd really love you to be part of the Total Somatics membership. You know, you're going to learn to learn how to reduce your pain, improve your posture, increase your mobility. You're going to develop many, many skills to allow you to use different parts of your brain and also become mindful and, awareness and aware in different environments due to lots of the support that I provide within the Total Somatics membership. So what I'd like to share with you is that if you want to join the Total Somatics membership, it would be lovely to have you in with all our wonderful friends around the world. So if you go to totalsomatics.com, click on the Join Now page, and if the membership doors are currently closed, please leave your details there on the Join Now page. And when we open the doors again in the near future, you will be notified very soon. I only open the doors for a few days so that I can encourage those that are interested to join to come on in and then they shut again because I focus very much on the members and how I can serve and deliver content for them. So that's why if you're really interested, come on in. It'll only be open for a few days throughout the year. However, if you want to start today and start working on building a bigger, juicier, healthier brain and all the connections with it, you can go to the Total Somatics online shop. You'll see there's lots of digital courses there. If you purchase those, you keep them permanently. So if you go to totalsomatics.com, click on the shop page, and then you can see the vast array of resources there. 
And again, I'd love you to keep in contact with me. Let me know how you're getting on. If you're in the membership, obviously, definitely keep in contact with me. Send me all your questions, your queries, your feedback, because that's what the membership is all about too. But if you're not in the membership, do keep in contact as well. I'd love to hear from you all. Um, and yeah, it really is very special to have this opportunity with the podcast to reach out to you because many of the subjects I cover are many of the questions that come in. So keep connected. It's a beautiful global community. Totalsomatics.com, either the Join Now page or Shop page. There's plenty of resources to get going and get your brain lovely and juicy. So until next time, all my love and my very best wishes. Take care. Bye. Thank you for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a rating and also forward this on to somebody you know will benefit. To learn more about pain relief, plus how to improve your health and well-being, go to totalsomatics.com. Until next time, take care.